All right, what's good, Husk Squad? Welcome back to my Hulk Banger Recap Marathon. So we're going to check out Who Owner 9's Dan to Dan Recap. And this one's called Dan to Dan Episode 1 was Freaking. And yes, it is freaking true. I've seen the Dan to Dan Episode 1 Sunday. Holy freaking crap. My mind was like, what in the actual F am I watching? <laughs> what am I watching? And like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this movie, they did them so this, this, this anime was so freaking freaky as hell. I saw it on Hulu, by the way. And I'm interested in seeing what in the hell the second episode is going to be. All, all I know is it's based on a manga I'm not too familiar with. You know, I, I got through this blind. I got through this totally blind. So I'm interested in seeing, you know, a recap of the uh, cool Uno's recap of this. So I know he's going to. He's gonna drop some truth for this dang episode one, so I'm excited to see this. Hot squad, further ado, we're gonna continue our Heartbanger Recap Marathon with Cool Uno Nines and Dan Dan Recap. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dan to Dan episode one was absolutely wild. Yes. But before yes. I get to the episode, y'all just need to go listen to that intro, man. I'm pretty sure I could not play that whole a minute 30 intro on YouTube or else they'll bring <laughs> to my door and check my kneecap. But go listen to that whole. It was a bop. Well, we start off with our goat, Momo Ayase. And Momo's super ass boyfriend is broke and <laughs> begging for Gucci. Like, damn, nigga, pick a struggle. <laughs> so you know what Momo does? She tried to kick dog right in the mouth. Yeah. His ass tech the kick. And then he beat her ass. Damn. What is bro's problem? And before anybody says, oh, but Momo tried to hit his ass first, that nigga was just begging for money and <laughs> within the span of two minutes. Dudes like that, you just gotta put your hands <laughs> in. Her ass gets up, goes to the class, and she needs consoling because she just broke up with her very first boyfriend. Because her friends ain't helping her with nothing. Momo's friends then hmm. ask her, why she would date a guy like that. And the only Tiss. reason Momo dated that dude in the first place was because he looked like Ken Kakakura, her hmm. favorite actor. So she starts roaming the hallways and then we run into our other main character, Big Goat, Okuru. And they over here doing bro dirty. Yeah, they seriously. Like they trashing my goat. And as someone that has read the manga, it, it sucks seeing him with this boof ass cut and this <laughs> at the same time. Cause really, Momo changed this broke nigga life. Cause bro, <laughs> from this to this, I mean, immediately hmm. a thousand plus aura. I think we just gotta abolish the bowl cut as a whole. Cause they have my baby go on out and damn it. You racist. But that boof ass cut, like I come back home and obliterate teach you. Like, Why'd you cut bro's hair like this? But little dickhead number four put a magnet in this paper ball. He was gonna throw an oak room. But Momo pulled up and she was like, I'm going to need you to stop that right there, buddy. And everybody in class just turned around, got back to doing <laughs> what they was doing. And I'm not going to lie, this funny as hell. Because yeah. after Momo left Okaroon's classroom, Okaroon pulled up on her out of nowhere. And a bad bitch talked to him one time. He already wanted to talk about everything he likes. <laughs> Both start talking about UFOs and UAPs because he is deeply enamored by the occult. Momo then snaps on his ass because she was not trying to hear internet. Yeah, she done broke up with her boyfriend three minutes ago. And here this goofball go yapping. But her ass realized she <laughs> He took it a little too far. And since Okaroon was talking about everything that he liked with her, Momo tells Okaroon that she believes in ghosts. And then this nigga <laughs> Okaroon start packing up. He said, ghosts aren't real. Oh, Momo, I would have punched bro in the back of the head. <laughs> and now these two goofy ass goobers arguing in the middle of the hallway about goofy which ass. one is more real, the occult or ghosts. But to hmm. Momo's benefit, her grandma is a spirit medium. I don't even talk about this so I can segue into talking about Seiko. Because Jesus Christ, this got to be the maddest 60-year-old ever. Yeah, seriously, I'm like, white. Like, ass niggas decide to have a contest on who's right. Okaroon. As I ain't no way, that's her grandma. I ain't no freaking way. I mean. Momo to a hospital where there's <coughs> been UFO sightings. And Momo sends Okaroon to a tunnel where there's been reported ghost sightings. But now that both of these niggas is in their location talking to each other on the phone, but they start getting familiar with one another, letting them relationship seeds. But as Okaron is talking to Momo on the phone, walking through this tunnel, he starts looking down and he sees these bloody ass footprints. Mm. But then Dog turns around and he sees this old ass lady. No. So Okaron, she says, and I quote, I'll let you suckle on my teeth. Yeah. Let me gobble that weenie. Yeah. Type shit. Tell Okaroon that he was walking in the. At that point, I was I, in my mind. I was like, "What the f am I watching?" I was like, "What?" Freaky cave. Because what in the hell is her problem? Right. And like any normal person in this situation. That little nigga starts hitting the dash. But it turns out that's the worst possible thing that bro could have done. Because huh. if Turbo Granny beats you in a race, you are cursed. And I just feel so bad for Okaroon because bro was set up from the start. And God, yeah. Yeah. Wow. look at Turbo Granny hitting the damn 
dash. Yeah. He yelled over as soon as Okaru stepped foot in this goddamn tunnel. I'm not gonna lie. And Momo on the phone just hearing this nigga get beat the hell up, man. I just think this is hilarious. But Momo tried to go after Okaru to save the nigga life because she just set this nigga up for failure. But the moonlight hmm. shining through the hospital building starts to come off through each window. And then Momo turns around and sees three niggas stand stuck oh, behind God. her. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have given these niggas <laughs> a single chance to do anything. I would have just jumped out the window, bro. Yeah. Y'all niggas oh, been weird as hell mm -hmm. and in the shadows. Oh, yeah, nah. He was finna do something crazy. Yeah. Man. But Momo hits the dash frame one and oh my God. <laughs> Paul, do you see this? Yeah, this so, is the type of shit you see in your nightmares that got you running forever and now. <laughs> I mean, like, what are you supposed to do in this situation? She started running and they was already damn near stepping on the back of her heels. And Okaroon <laughs> sent Momo to the freaky hospital because <laughs> they fight her and just straight up ripped her clothes yeah, off. Yeah, ripped his clothes off. Oh, with this freaky ass nigga. Yes. Screen face to black and Momo got transported on a damn UFO. And those three niggas are aliens called the Serpolians. And there's only male Serpos. They are telling Momo they reproduce through clones, but they trying to find out a different way. But who do right here pulls out a robot shit one Yeah, yeah, yeah like, whoa, 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 whoa. And their hands are set of Thugs away from her, man. They got her on those freaky shit. Save her now. Yes, I don't that. They said they finna use psychedelics to arouse her, bro. They drugging her too. Someone please come save my goat right now. This is getting crazy. But before they can complete their freak crusade, Mo. I'm so glad I saw this recap after I seen this episode Sunday, man. I was like, okay, what the hell is going on in this in this episode? Mo's phone starts ringing. <clears throat> the Serpos pick up and out. From the phone comes Okaroon, but it's not just Okaroon, it's Okaroon cursed with Turbo Granny. Yeah. As she starts biting niggas your boy uh. off. You know what? I'm gonna let her comment towards Okaroon slide. But Okaroon is trying his best to control the curse, but it's not working. Nope. Turbo Granny over here biting niggas dicks off. I'm talking about bit the meat and then did a suplex with it. Mm. Crazy. But Okaroon Granny and Fuse pulls up on the last circle, but they get blown back by this black guy. Okaroon starts pulling his heart out. He's like, I ain't never had no friend, but Miss Momo, Miss ISA was the first nigga ever to stand up for me. So I can't let anybody do some freak nasty stuff to her. Yeah. That's crazy. He says, I'm going to give him my all. So he tries to muster up some strength to do something. But oh, nah, he nope. just gets blown back. And he's in. Nope. He gives up. He's like, you know what? That's the max. My fault. <laughs> like the whole thing. The circle gets back to drugging Ayase. And her ass is trying her damnedest to not get drugged. So <laughs> she gets thrown into a flashback with her grandma. And since her grandma was a spirit medium, she was teaching her about how to control her chi. And she remembered how. Strengthen your abs and then shoot that hole up through your head. So she does just that and breaks out of the psychedelic. So now it's good back time on these bitch ass aliens. And with Momo's spiritual power, she kicks the Piss out of this serpo. Sent little bro flying. Had him spinning like a Beyblade like, too. Hey. He kicked the nigga so hard he flew out of the UFO. And now everything out of the UFO is starting to malfunction. It's bugging. But possessed Okaron pulls up on Momo and starts biting her arm. And she's like, nigga, just break out of it, bro. Come on now. It's not that hard. But Turbo Grady comes out of Okaron. She's like, hey, man. I'm only doing this because I'm too far away from that tunnel. But I possess this kid, Shaboing Boy. If you want me to have it back, you gotta come to me with the hands about it. And she jumps up out of there as the spaceship crashes with Oklahoma and ISA in it. And god damn, this was a mean ass crash. Was there nobody on this street at all? Momo and Okaroon come out of this spaceship and they're just now thinking about what the hell just happened to them. Because Momo, the nigga that didn't believe in aliens, just got abducted by aliens. And Okaroon, the nigga that didn't believe in curses, just got cursed. But they decide they'd have their best chance at Turbo Grady if they go together. But Okaroon says one of Ten Kakakura's lines from one of his movies and Momo's heart starts fluttering as Momo did ask for Okaroon's name. And guys, guess what this nigga's real name is? It's Ken, Ken Takakura. Yep. And just like yep. that, that's the end of the episode. As a nigga that read the manga, this dad to dad episode was fire. Yeah, it's 10 out of 10. I can't wait for next week's episode. But the moral of the story is, and I mean this from the bottom <laughs> of my heart, do not be a freak. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But other than that, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. All right. That recap going on. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I actually saw the, the episode first before I started this recap because I didn't know what the F was going on. I'm like, what, is, what am I watching? What the hell am I watching? <laughs>
<laughs> and um, the next episode comes out this Friday as well. So I'm guessing every episode is going to come out on Friday. So I'm going to continue with it. I mean, it, it piqued my interest. I'm definitely going to check uh, episode two out on Hulu, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, the Dan and Dan. Episode one, y'all. Hall Squad, that is my conclusion on my Heartbreaker recap. A cool Uno 9 is a Dead and Dead recap. So, so if you enjoyed this, please hit the other button, comment, share your thoughts. Have you seen the Dead and Dead first episode? What's your thoughts about it? And are you going to continue serious from that point forward? And Hot Squad, I've reached 380 subscribers. So I'm almost close to 400, which means I'm 100 subscribers away to 500 becoming the YouTube partnership program. So if, if you got to get more subscribers, you know, if I get new viewers who love the content I have, and go ahead and subscribe, man, because I really appreciate y'all's support and love. You know, I love doing these every single week, you know, and I try my best to do it every single week, despite if I have college, I got work. You know, I try my best to do these. Of course, I try my best. So, all squad, unfortunately, I will continue my last Hulkbanger recap, but I am tired, and my second class just started today, so I have no time to waste. So, I'm going to that right now, immediately after we end this reaction. So, all squad, this is your man, Tars Hulk. Signing out for today. I will see y'all tomorrow. Continue on for more Heartbangers. Safe out the sky. Peace out and have a great day. Hot Squad forever.